Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Super early and super cold, so I figured I'd get some Starbucks. Actually head into the park. Luckily the sun is coming out, and I hope it shines down on me, because I'm freezing. The reason why I'm at the park is because I wanted to go ahead and do a video that I feel like a lot of you are interested in, which is going to be breaking down my CRZ build. For those of you that have been asking, this is your answer to that. And just so that I don't forget all the different parts, I went ahead and made a list on my phone. We are going to start out with the exterior. For the first thing I did, the car was actually originally red. I went ahead and did a pearl white wrap on it. Let me pop the hood for you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera or not, but if you look at it, the car's originally red. And I did the whole, the exact wrap that I did, if you guys are ever interested in doing it yourself, it's gonna be Avery Pearl White, and it's gonna be the gloss, uh, not the matte or satin. After that, I would have to say that the other thing that I did was just like every other Honda owner out there. I switched out the emblems to the red emblems, or the Type R emblems. Once I did that, I feel like the car still needed a little something, so I went ahead and did the wheels. The wheels that I have on here aren't actually the wheels that I had prior to doing the wide body, as you guys can see. I actually had, what wheels were they? I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll go ahead and put it right here somewhere so that that way you guys are interested and also put a picture of what it looked like before I did the, the kit. So once I wrapped it and once I changed out the wheels and the emblems, I went ahead and actually bought the Mugen rep kit. Yes, it is a rep kit, but my goal in the future is to go ahead and do the official Mugen or Mugen. I know some people say it differently, but I guess it's technically Mugen. Yes, it is a Mugen rep kit. I went ahead and did the front lip, the side skirts, and I have the rear uh, diffuser or rear lip for it, but I just haven't put it on because I had an issue as far as fitment goes. And I don't know if it's because of the fact that my car isn't actually originally a ZF2. It has the ZF2 front bumper, which I switched out because I personally like this one more. The reason I like the ZF2 is because ever since before I even had a CRZ, I came across a video by... It was a video of a CRZ in Malaysia that actually had this exact color, this exact lip kit, and I just, I fell in love with the CRZ ever since. And I was like, if I'm ever gonna own one, it's gonna look like that. And here I am, about, I wanna say three years in, and I have it exactly where that is without the fact that it has bags. Bags is in the future. I don't wanna go ahead and spend that money at the moment because I feel like it needs a couple more things before it gets to that point. But I do like the stance of it now. As far as suspension goes, uh, the type of suspension it has is ground control. When I bought the car, I had already had it on there. When I actually lifted it up for the first time, I saw that it had the adjustable, adjustable springs. Probably down the road, I'll either go coilovers or like I said, bags. But I like the stance as it is right now. If you guys checked out my last video, I actually put spacers in the car and I feel like the fitment is not perfect yet in the rear, but definitely in the front, I, I wouldn't go any more poke than it is right now. Just so you guys get an idea of what I was talking about, my car actually is a ZF1. I went ahead and changed out the bumper. And I actually had an issue because I got the bumper thinking that it would come with a grill, but it didn't. So I actually had to order this grill from someone off of the Facebook group. Thank you, shout out to him. I believe his name is James. Because those grills, for those of you who don't know or haven't looked into buying a replacement grill, because I know they crack pretty easily, they are crazy expensive and so hard to find. I'll eventually upgrade to, like I said, the Mugen one. Moving on from the bumper upgrade, this is the Mugen Rep Kit, actually from Basin R Motorsports. Shout out to them, I actually had an issue with the rear fitment, but they actually managed to talk to me. And I think it might have to do with, like I stated earlier, the fact that my car is in an actual ZF2 and the kit is for a ZF2. What I did to actually get this blacked out look, which I absolutely love once I did it, I just got the tail lights. The, the film that I used was actually the Lux film. If you guys are ever looking into doing your tail lights, I would highly recommend it. Just because the CRZ has this really like bulged out section right here. And if you try to do it with most conventional films, it actually won't stick. And with Lux film, it's actually like a wrap, so it'll contour to those different uh, angles and all that pretty easily. And it's actually a really easy install. It just comes down to wiping the car, making sure it's clean, and installing it just like you would any other piece of wrap. The wing is also 
uh, a Mugen rep wing. I, got a, I went ahead and got that from Basin R Motorsports as well. And moving on to the, probably my favorite part of the car and what made it stand out so much to me is actually the Rex Styling Wide Body Kit. Uh, there's different versions of this kit. I know that they have more pieces when it comes to like the spoiler as well as uh, more size curtain extensions and even some canards. But I just went ahead and did the four pieces that I actually got from some other CRZ YouTuber that if you guys want to go check him out, give him a shout out. His name's actually Ube Made. So if you guys are ever planning on installing this kit, just a couple tips that I will give you guys is that the front area, make sure you cut enough. It's not that big of an issue on the front, but on the rears, you're actually gonna have to cut into the this bumper. I haven't had anything about like the bumper falling off or feeling loose or anything because once you put the kit on, it'll hold it in place regardless. So you guys will be fine there. The exact wheels are ESR wheels. They are black with the gold rivets and the, the actual tire that I'm running is a 225 40 18. And just to state the last thing on the outside of the car is I did my roof in black as well just because I like the contrast between the black and the white car. Going over the engine bay as far as upgrades go, I just did the Fit Manifold Swap and the K&N Typhoon Intake. I will say that this combination right here, it gives you a great sound in my opinion, uh, including the exhaust. The exhaust is actually one that I got off of Amazon. I've gone through a bunch of different type of exhaust. I went with the Tegiwa, Yes, the Tegiwa second cat delete, and I went with a straight pipe, which was crazy loud, but every time I would let off the gas, it would pop. And it sounded great, but I pulled over for that. So watch out guys, because it is very loud. Then I went ahead and took it off, just for the fact that it was way too loud. Then I went ahead and switched it over to the DNA motoring exhaust. I like how it sounds now, it's very quiet, toned down from what I usually used to, but at this point I'm not trying to attract any attention. Just because the way my car looks, people already stare at it, and the least problems I have with the cops, the better. On to the final part of my car. For those of you who have a CRZ and own the cloth seats that are gray, you guys will know that those things never get clean no matter what you do to them. So I went ahead and replaced them with NRG reclinable bucket seats, you could say. I also switched out my emblem for the red emblem. And I went ahead and changed the shift knob to a Mugen shift knob that I found on eBay just because I like how it looked and overall feels really good. This section right here, I took off the trim pieces and I wrapped them red just to kind of mash everything together. And I accidentally ordered an extra Mugen sticker. So I was like, instead of just throwing it away, cause it was a lot bigger than I intended it to be, I went ahead and just put it inside and I feel like it's actually a unique look. I haven't really seen anybody do this before. And to end the video, I'll leave you guys with an exhaust clip.